So I'm a newbie to the uh, drone world, um, but I did purchase a Contixo F24. Uh, comes in this awesome carry case. Uh, so I'm going to open it up, reveal it, take a look at it for the first time. Never flew a drone, never bought one. Um, have some knowledge of RC cars, but uh, drone world is something completely new. Um, so I did my homework, and for the price point, um, this seemed to have every gizmo and gadget that you need. Um, quality, um, reviews, everything was pretty... Uh, on point for what I was looking for, just a basic drone uh, with some quality, um, you know, with a nice camera, something that I can connect to the phone, wireless, and have a little fun with. So let's open this up and take a look. I do have to say the bag's actually rather nice. Alright. So, um, to begin, looks like we got training manual and some promotion. Uh, share your experience on Contexo product. Get a free accessory with shipping. Uh, free battery or a micro SD card or new propellers. So that is a bonus for sure. And I will be doing that. Uh, manual looks good solid f4 f24 and the f4 f24 pro uh, I just went with the basic f24 I'm no pro um, so let's take a look real quick a lot of pictures a lot of numbers looks pretty good um, has a lot of instructions looks pretty organized uh, got the scan codes so you can go to the app and whatnot. Um, that looks so uh, pretty good. Now, looking at the actual product, let's see. Uh, let's start off here with the accessories. And here's the case inside so you can see everything. Uh, for what I could tell, this was supposed to be an extra spot for a battery. Um, I'll eventually get that, I'm sure. Got your charging cable, uh, your in uh, input uh, plug, uh, propellers. Got to have extra propellers, which uh, is nice. That's cool, from what I understand. And your power cable, USB. And looks like you got the controller harness. Looks pretty solid. Pretty solid stuff. Not bad. Nice clips. Cool. Move on to the controller. Uh, looks like any controller that I've seen. Like I said, I'm new to this, but uh, as far as RCs go, uh, looks legit. Uh, it's got a LiPo battery. Um, that's good. Charge with the USB cable. Got the joysticks. Got all these buttons up here. Here's your antennas. Um, got your speed, your buttons for the camera. That's cool. Joysticks have a lot of uh, rebound, which is nice. You don't want those lagging around. Um, here is the where you would put your phone. Uh, looks pretty good. So I know these are kind of sometimes chintzy. This feels like it's got good suspend or springs in it, but a little flimsy on the plastic. But uh, we'll see. And then these are to help hold the controller. Very cool. Looks like pretty good, uh, pretty light. Um, you know, hopefully it uh, holds up. Like I said, this is the only thing that kind of concerns me a little bit, but uh, so far so good. All right. 
I'm doing that wrong. Pretty nice. And then the coup de gras. Nidro. Move that out of the way. So it is foldable, which is awesome. You see how it fits so nice in that case. That case is, that's where it's at. You don't have a case, be kind of a puck, but, uh, pain in the butt carrying it around. All right, let's see. Nice and solid. Locks in place, that's nice. Let's see here. And from my readings, we got brushless motors. Um, can't go wrong with that. Nice quality. Um, looks pretty solid. Again, I'm a newbie. I don't know uh, the best of the best, but um, I got a decent understanding. All right. And looks like you got your camera here. And from what I read, it got 120 uh, degree uh, left to right, and then 90 degrees uh, vertical. Um, so that's cool. And then the battery, that's a nice battery, comes out. 11.1 uh, .1 volts, uh, lithium ion. Uh, I know that they don't have I don't know if you can get batteries directly from them or online, but to me, 30 minutes is fun. A lot of time from what I've read. Um, and then again, uh, it also takes like five hours to recharge. So uh, maybe two batteries would be right where it's at, where you need to be. And then down here is where you put the micro SD card. Um, so you can save the photos onto that and then download it instead of uh, wirelessly. So overall, that's really nice. Um, can't wait to charge the bad boy up and give it my first flight and see how I do. Um, overall, very good uh, first impression. I uh, look forward to uh, seeing what it can do. Now that you can see, um, I got some experience with the Contexo F24 drone. Um, it is pretty fast. The video is a lot clearer than I thought it would be. Uh, getting pretty good doing some, some circles, um, flying around a little bit. And you can see the picture quality is uh, pr pretty good. Um, I mean, I brought it up to about uh, the max height, um, which is ridiculous. You know, it, it goes up, I, I, I don't know, 120 meters, I think it is. Um, you know, I brought it out over Lake Erie, um, which was awesome, getting some great shots. You can get some pretty good close-ups on some things, too. Here's an art project at the community college. And the lighting really uh, didn't affect it as much as I thought it would. Uh, everything's pretty clear. You can see the sky. Um, you know, overall, it's easy to use. It's simple. It's You pick it up pretty quick. Um, it's a whole lot of fun. The battery life, uh, you get about 30 minutes, which is awesome. Um, this is seriously an overall uh, good purchase. Can't beat the price. Um, everything I thought it was going to be and more, and, you know, I, I definitely recommend this to anybody, uh, looking to start off in the drone world or just for fun. Um, definitely give Contixo F24 drone a, a good look. Um, overall A plus, uh, on the product and ease of use. It's a whole lot of fun. Um. Go out and get yourself one.